Okay, guys, everything's going to sound a little different because A, I'm on my webcam, and B, this is very fucking impromptu. Um, as you noticed, or whatever, um, Alex, Alex and I, Phoenix and I, have not been making a lot of videos lately because of the fact that, hey, um, some real world shit's been going down, and uh, a lot of it has to do with work, and we, we have videos, we do, I swear, we just haven't been able to, you know, have the time to annotate them and get them out and whatnot, um, but the reason I'm making this video today is, A, to let you guys know, I'm sorry, we, we're still here, we're still alive, not that some of y'all motherfuckers care, but, um, also, to explain to you the trauma that I have suffered today. My, my significant other and I, my man Boneyards and I, went with his mom. By the way, she's like the most wonderful, awesome, super soft mom there is. And I wish she, wish, uh, well, I wish that, um, I wish that she, my mom was like her instead of a raging bitch. But I digress. We went out to dinner. Or lunch, sorry, lunch. Um, in Huber Heights. That's. Ohio. Um, I, and the reason I'm bringing this up is because this is a live and interactive fucking Yelp review because god damn it, I'm not downloading that fucking app. Um, there is a Asian buffet in Huber Heights that we decided to go to and oh my god, people are blowing up my fucking Twitter. Sorry, I needed to get on the internet to check my shit. Uh, uh, in, uh, mm. Okay, it is called the Asian Buffet, or sometimes it's um the Asian or the Good Asian Buffet, but whatever. Um, that's not the right one. This is the one. Um, it is at sixty nine ninety nine Miller Lane. It is called the Asian Buffet. Uh, like I said, I had to Google it. That's an image. It's a small image, and I know it's shitty and whatnot. And for those of you who want the actual fucking restaurant and whatnot, it is, um, yeah, 69.99 Miller Lane, Huber Heights, Ohio, or maybe Dayton, Ohio. I do not know the fucking area code. Um, we went there to visit. Well, to have, um, food. Um. So help me God. I don't believe in God. I don't even give a shit. Uh, is 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 ha Halloween. The month of Halloween. I've been traumatized. In, much in the way that Tyler Oakley was traumatized at Chipotle. The Chipotle he went to. Wherever it is, he lives. I don't fucking remember where he lives. I'm sorry, Tyler. I love you, but I don't remember where he lives. It's not my business, anyways. Anyways, so I'm sitting there next to my mom in law because we aren't married because we don't believe in marriage. Blah blah. blah. And my beloved is right across uh, at the same table. Obviously, everything's cool. We're we're rounding, wi winding down, and you know, finishing eating and whatnot, and then we're just sitting there talking because you know we don't get to see her that often. So sometimes, hey, it's nice to talk to her and just sit the fuck down and be chill. It's very, very, very rare for me to just sit the fuck down and chill. No, it's not really rare. I'm I'm pretty cool. I'm pretty cool. Oh, but I swear to God, I'm sitting there, and for some reason, my brain says, "Hey, Gucci." You should really look at the sugar, sugar packet container. I don't know what the fuck you want to call it. A, a, it's not a tray. It's a little tiny thing. Maybe a tray. I've got like a fuck ton of shit in my pocket right now. What up? I'm emptying my pockets. Um. Any fucking ways. Let me tell y'all. I looked down at the sugar. This is the stupid little things that they have the fucking sweet and low in and shit. You know what I'm talking about. Every restaurant has it. <sighs> So I'm sitting there, I'm sitting there, minding my business. Oh, I forgot. I think I was telling you guys why everything, the sound's coming through my webcam. My headphones broke. Just saying, got these from China. I'm sensing a pattern here. Hmm. 
no, never mind. That's off topic. I'm not pretty right now. It's in there. I looked down at the sugar packet. I'm like. <laughs> I'm like, oh, that's a cockroach. And I'm not trying to cause a fucking scene. Because it's kind of loud in there, and there's actually quite a few people in there. And I'm like, I'm a terrible person. And up in my head, I was like, I'm going to get ninja to death if I scream that there's a fucking cockroach. These little fucking Asian bastards is going to come out and fucking karate chop me to death. I know it sounds terrible, but that's where my brain went. And you know what? Fuck it. I don't care at this point. I deserve some bit of panic because god fucking damn it, right there in my foot was a... Not in my food. Sorry, not in my food. Right there next to my food plate is a motherfucking cockroach. Big as you please, just going, hey, sup? Do you eat my brother? I'm not gonna lie, I stole that joke from my mother in law. Not my mother in law, not mother in law, because she fucking said something like that after we got outside, because it was fucking hilarious. Oh, and I have never seen that woman get angry. I have never seen her go off and, you know, yell at anybody. She's generally chill. It takes a lot to piss her off. <gasps> but let me tell you, she was fucking flipping out on those fucking um, employees. Because, A, they were laughing at us. And fucking, like, talking shit back and forth in Chinese. Don't think we don't know. We all know. You know we know. Ugh. So, like I said, I'm sitting there, I'm sitting there minding my business, or well, I'm, I was minding my business at that point, and I was pretty, like, mellow. I had a nice tummy full of, like, meat and those little fucking things, crab rangoons, I love those things. And I was just chilling and enjoying time with my man and my mommy-in-law. <sighs> like I said, cockroach. And I'm like, <gasps> I went a little bit Tyler Oakley meets Alex James. I was a I was a strong gay man. <sighs> Let that sink in for a minute. I was a I was a strong gay man. I I I don't fucking care. Oh my god. We usually, like I said, when we go out to eat, it's all pretty calm and chill and just relaxing. And no. We got up out that out those fuck out away from that fucking table, and I shit you not, the little bastard was just kind of sitting there, wiggling his fucking antenna at me, and I'm like, oh bitch, and I'm like in my head, I'm I'm freaking out, like freaking out, like freaking out, like holy shit, don't fucking cause a scene because you're gonna get trampled in a stampede of all these other motherfuckers trying to get the fuck out of here, and yes, there's a lot of swearing, and you know what, fuck you, I don't care, I'm stressed, and let's be real, I got a mouth like a fucking sailor, and worse than that. Okay. So. We get up. We kind of like scurry our little chunky asses. All of us. We we are not small people. I know what I look like. Don't fuck, fucking judge. We scurry our fucking chunky little asses up to the fucking front desk. Not desk. It's not a fucking desk. The checkout cashier, people, what the fuck ever. I'm having a moment here. My brain is like, ah, cockroach. <sighs> and we go. And we tell them. There was a cockroach at our table. They take my man's money. They take his money. And they don't offer us a refund. And they're, they're like, looking at, uh, looking at uh, me and his mom like we're fucking liars. And I keep repeating the words. There was a cockroach in the sugar Trey, you know, Splenda and all that shit, and then his mom is saying the same thing. There was a cockroach at our table, on our table, in the fucking sugar tray. Why are you not reacting? Now, push comes to shove, they probably see this kind of thing a million times. They work in a restaurant business in the general Dayton area. Fuck it, whatever. My hair's a hot damn mess because I went to sleep with it in buns, and yeah, so we're having a little bit of a fucking flyaway for this kind of thing going on. Whatever. Um, they're not phased. They're looking at us like we're fucking retards. And I don't mean mentally handicapped. I mean they're looking at us like retards, like we're stupid. And I'm like, look, I will show you. I will show you. Fortunately for us, or unfortunately, however you want to look at it, the fucker was still there, sitting big as you goddamn please, wiggling its little motherfucking antennas. Like, sup, bitch? Come back for more? Was this time you want my sister? 
I don't know why this fucking cockroach is Spanish all of a sudden with that accent. I don't know. Fuck it. I'm having like a million fucking accents and I'm having a little fucking freak out. Or a big freak out. I'm having a bitch fit. Leave me be. <laughs> I swear to God. My skin is so crawling. I sound like an Eva. I don't even care. My skin is so crawling. I feel like I need to take a fucking like bath out in the fucking rain or get hosed down and then like throw away my fucking clothes. Oh my god. Like, I'm not even gonna annotate this or edit this or anything, and I'm not gonna have Phoenix do it either. I, it's literally just gonna be straight up. So, like I said, the Asian Buffet at 69.99 Miller Lane in Heber Heights slash Dayton, Ohio, whatever the fuck they want to call it. <sighs> Don't go there. Generally, the food is shit. We should have known something was up when the food was actually good this time. It's very rare we go there. Dude, I hate, I, I fucking hate cockroaches. Cockroaches and maggots are the most disgusting things. Well, there's also spiders. And I have an issue with moths, too, but that's a whole other fucking story. But yeah, um, I don't know how long this video is. I gotta check. Um, yeah, this has been, like, 11 and a half minutes of me rambling and ranting. Um, also, if you're wondering about my shirt, it says, One of these things is not like the others. Is this it? Cause it ain't a penguin. But anyways, um, so yeah, that was an adventure in itself. Um, if you're wondering where I got this shirt, I got it off of Redbubble. No, no, this one was off of Woot. Never mind. Yeah, Woot. Uh, w o o t dot com. Ten dollars. Um, but yeah. Um, please don't go to this restaurant. Do not give these fucking people your money. And I don't mean these people in a racist sense. I mean these people as in the owners of this fucking restaurant. These people that own a res the restaurant and work there and whatnot. Don't give them your fucking money. They were rude, insensitive, uncaring, and laughed at us. Because we were upset about a fucking filthy ass cockroach at our, at our table. So, yeah. I'm Glitchy Bitch, and I'm signing off.